touch my heart that we will not fail. Because most men have failed God since the creation. This is what Abraham said. And this is the word concerning him. And when Abram was 90 years old and nine, the Lord appeared to him, as to Abram, and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me, and be thou perfect. That's what God said to Abraham. You'll find that in Genesis 17, the first verse. He said, walk before me and be thou perfect. God has wanted men to walk before him in perfection ever since. And before that, but he had very few that would listen to him. Jesus said, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your heavenly Father which is in heaven is perfect. If your engine in your automobile isn't perfect, you don't get any place. If the valves, if the pistons, if the walls become imperfect, you've got trouble. A distributor, if it isn't perfect in its connections, in all parts in it, it stops. If the heart is not what it ought to be, the body stops. The things of earth must have perfection or there isn't any goal or any progress. So God said to Abram, he said, be thou perfect. Walk before me in perfection. Very few theologians have preached this, but this is God's requirement, not mine. But he has revealed it to me that he wants us to go into perfection and seek perfection. He said, God said, Abraham, be thou perfect. Amen. Noah was a perfect and upright man, a just and upright man in his generation. He, had, he was a perfect man in his generation. Amaziah did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. And Jesus said, be ye therefore perfect, even as your heavenly Father which is in heaven is perfect. And that comes by dying and by obeying and by following and not doing anything that you and I want to do except he lead it. Except he purge us. And since creation, man has wanted to have a little sin or a little imperfection that makes way for sin and imperfection and grieves God. God wants us a pure people. A holy sanctified people. And this is the word of the Lord. This is the word of the God of Abraham, our God, our mighty God, that our dear brother was singing about a while ago. So when he said to Abraham, this great man of faith, he said, be thou perfect. He had tremendous faith, but he said, I want you to go on to perfection in all aspects and areas of the life. And that's what he wants and wills for all of us. Amen. Wasn't Amen. time to preach any more than that, but that's enough. <laughs> this is God's word. Yes. This is God's way. And it never has changed. And very few have ever held up that standard. That's right. That's right. See, and, and this man that's saying this is a servant of God. He's a scholar. He's been reading in theology for many years, studying, uh, sermonizing, homiletics, the Bible, the ways of God's people. 
and William is co-pastor there, scholars, here sits other scholars with us that have read, and they have found very few theologians and God's men that say perfection is required. They say, no, we can't do that in this life. God said he wanted us that way. And I have to tell us the truth. They're telling us, and that means everyone has, has to die out and get all the anger and the wrath and the lust and the hate and the judgmental spirit and resentments and darkness of every kind out of our life and it comes by the power of God, the blood of Jesus to get that out of a man or woman he can't get it out himself and when God gets it out you've got life you have great joy and you have something within you it's like heaven above thank you for persevering I'm grateful for your prayers because I've been walking with God for 51 years. And God spoke to me for over 60 years ago. See, God and Abraham spoke to me. Jesus spoke to me in my heart. And said, you belong to me. I will use you in my kingdom someday. See, that's what the Lord told me. That's what Jesus told me. In the inner voice, over 60 years ago. <clears throat> it's never changed. It's never changed. What God does never changes. Right. Never. <clears throat> so he's called me to tell you that he wants us to press into perfection. Oh, that's just what's And very few have been willing to do it through the suffering. Because they want to make provision, provisions for the flesh to do what the flesh wants. Rather than what God leads. So I'm going to try to quit because it's time to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs>